Hey guys and welcome to the 12.7 skills update. Today we'll be talking about the two new skills aim drills and surgery as well as what's going on with endurance and strength. After 12.7 hit I did my usual testing which involved melee and grenades for strength and walking versus running on endurance. While melee and grenades are still fine and work as intended, a little bug found its way into the Tarkov code that allowed players to massively gain skill in both endurance and strength. We're talking 60 to 90 skill points per full run. A full run is you running until your leg stamina bar is depleted. This was one of the main reasons I was waiting with the skills update video because I did not want to be responsible for spreading it as it was broken. Well. BSG put out a fix explaining that the exhaustion would not properly stack and therefore cause this massive skill gain. However, since the game awards you with skill points after you completed an action, in this case running, it was only half the truth. Although it is true that you now do not get as many points anymore, I still believe there is an error. If we take a look at strength, we can see that hitting someone or throwing grenades still is fine the way it was supposed to be, while running over weight for a full run awards you with 5 points already if your endurance is high enough. You can still use the blue stim in example to increase your running distance because it ups your stamina and this is what I have found. While having max endurance, you will get 12 points in strength in a few minutes. I also tested this with the blue stim Meldonan and L1 to make sure I had the max running distance possible in the game. After the first run, I let my stamina go up again, and although I was at 3% of my skill gain, I still got 0.5 skill points for the run. When I started running from 58.6 skill points for the first run, ending at 67.7 skill points, which netted me in 9.1 points, I already thought this was way too much. But I was and still am not sure if this is not what BSG now wants. From 67.7, I went up to 70 skill points, which might not sound much, but considering I spent 10 minutes overall to get 11.4 points, that is a very strong gain. As an example, without the 40% boost from your hideout to physical skills, without the boost phase, you get once per raid, per skill, I made 4.7 skill points for a full run. The exact same works for endurance and therefore, whatever we've learned for both skills is obsolete as long as you have this massive skill gain on running. If this is what BSG wants, then running over weight for strength and running underweight for endurance is the new way to go forward. BSG also changed the elite perks for endurance, fixed the stamina recovery to on max level. So now it takes you 23 seconds to recover your stamina bar to full, compared to 12 seconds and 12.6. While the 150% stamina is still an elite perk, BSG changed the second perk to once you are out of stamina, you do not shake while aiming like you are about to die. They also nerfed strength, as on max level only your weapons do not count towards your max weight anymore. However, they supposedly fixed the jump height, which was stacking before, and now feels like you can jump even higher. We will have a look into that further. On top, your melee hits can now critically hit. I have not tested this one out so far, as my strength is not maxed out. I will keep you posted. Let's move on to surgery. One of the two new skills BSG added to the patch. I've spent roughly 15 hours testing with both the CMS and Civiv kit. My testing included spawning with another account in a group and spawning in with that account not in a group. And I also invited other players to do the same. I included all five revivable limbs, both arms and legs as well as the stomach to make sure they gave you the same points. The surgery skill is leveled by applying either a CMS or a Civiv kit to a dead limb with like a leg. In order to test it more efficiently, I caused a bleed on my PMC so that every time I would revive my limb, they would instantly go to 0 HP again. Increasing the skill reduces the HP penalty for an appliance, increases the speed of applying the Civiv or CMS kit, and on elite level grants you two elite perks. The first one is no HP penalty for the restored body part, and the second one is maximize the speed of surgery. The interesting part about surgery is that it is a practical skill which means your library that you can build in a hideout gives you a 30% buff to skill gain. Once built, the 30% buff is constant. You can't turn it off 
through switching off the power in your hideout, unlike the air filter. The very good news about the skill is that it does not matter what you use, CMS or the Civiv kit, they will net you the same amount of points. This is why I will show you the table for the Civiv kit only, as it counts for the CMS as well. In the table we have 10 consecutive uses of the Civiv kit using the 30% hideout boost. Your first appliance will give you 2.7 points, then 1.2, going down to 0.2, where I stopped the test series for each test. As always, I did this in offline rates as well as in live rates to make sure there was no difference between the two modes. Without the 30% boost, you get 2.1 points for the first appliance and 0.9 for the second down to 0.1. Compared, you could make 6.8 points with 10 uses including the hideout boost and 5.2 points without it. In order to check how many points the boost phase would award you, I waited 5 minutes to reset the skill and surprisingly only got 0.6 points, which would mean the boost phase, including the 30% hideout boost, awards you with 2.1 points. I might have to redo this, because it does not sound right. Moving on to our second new skill aim drills, this one was a bit messy. I did a total of 75 tests, including several guns, ammo types, etc., getting different skill gun results each time. In order to level the skill, you need to aim down sight and then shoot and hit a target, however, I was not awarded with skill points while shooting the AI. Therefore, I was not able to test this in offline mode, but only in live raids. While our aim drills will decrease the time you need to aim down sight, which would counter a low ergo, a higher level will also decrease the sound you make when aiming down sight. The two elite perks you get when maxing the skills are, for the first two seconds, you have no handshaking when you aim down sight. And you have a reduced handshaking during a tremor or fracture for the first two seconds as well. As far as I can tell, the ammo matters greatly. As example, 856A1 awarded me with more points than M995, which gave me roughly the same amount when shooting my PB pistol using various types of ammo. For most tests, I shot 61 rounds of ammo into the leg, stomach or thorax of my target to make sure body parts did not play any role. While M995 did give me 4 skill points after 61 rounds, 856A1 gave me between 4.3 and 4.5. This could be due to the milli skill points behind the comma that we can't see or a first try from BSG to randomize the skill gain. I doubt that. While my raid boost phases also ended differently, I will present to you the ones that I found most common which are between 0.9 and 1.4 points. As you would need to heal a second account, this would probably take you too long to power level, however putting 60 rounds per raid in a target while aimed down sight seems also unrealistic. I believe this skill is a pure play the game skill. As the development of the game continues, I will have more in depth look at the skills again since BSG did some macro changes over the past few months. Thank you so far for watching. I truly hope the video helps you, of course a follow would be awesome from you, and stay safe in these times, and until the next video, bye bye.